Images are all around us. And it's important to remember that Norman Rockwell was an illustrator. So his works were seen on the covers of magazines, in stories, in advertisements. Rockwell was a people painter. He loved people and he was curious about uh, people. He was interested in what people were doing. He was really adroit at capturing what I think of as liminal moments where he captures the moment between this and that. So the process of beginning and ending and he somehow takes you right into the middle. We think of him, and he was a brilliant artist, a fine artist, but what went into the storytelling and making of each painting required very, very thought through creative director process. The reference photographs and poses were very important. You'll notice in them that sometimes he will coach different expressions, and then he would select that model who he felt best represented the character. an example waiting for the art editor that he uses contrast. He has a young artist and he has a seasoned artist, but the young artist is sitting in his seat and he's nervous, he has his portfolio at his feet and you can tell by his expression and his posture that he hopes he's going to be successful. And maybe the older artist is losing his touch. So there are all these ideas uh, captured in the painting that we're invited to think about. He was always curious about the next invention, the next idea that was happening, and I think he would be intrigued by the digital world. So blockchain technology as a new platform is yet another way to extend illustration art and information. I know the family is particularly fond of the archives and the, the reference photography and that it's a great passion of theirs to see that collection be shared in a new way. So the sale of limited digital and print editions will help support the ongoing conservation and presentation and making accessible the museum's collections to people everywhere in the world.